Hi, I'm Jessica from Devolutions, and today I want to tell you about a new way to log in to Devolutions Password Server. I really think you're going to like it. Now we can log in to Devolutions Password Server with a Microsoft Office 365 account. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up. In fact, there's things that need to be done in the Microsoft Azure portal, as well as in the Devolutions Password Server console. I'll briefly go over the main things that need to be done in the Azure portal, but then we'll really concentrate on what needs to, do, what needs to be done in Devolutions Password Server's console. So, in the Azure portal, in the Active Directory service, you're going to need to make three new app registrations. RDM login as a native application, and this lets DPS be used with Remote Desktop Manager. DPS web login as a web and API application is the second application you'll be making. And the third and final one is DPS sync as a web and API application as well. That was really fast, don't worry. We've made a knowledge base article as well that will guide you through it all. And we've also included the link in the description to this video. So now that we've made the three app registrations in the Azure portal, let's move over to the DPS console. But don't close the portal just yet because we want to leave it open so we can copy and paste information from the portal into the console. So now we open the DPS console on the same machine that we installed the password server on. Once it's open, click edit to access the password server settings and go to authentication. Here you can click and check authenticate with Office 365 user. Now we see that Office 365 has been added to the menu. So this is where we need to continue our setup. You may see that we have a bunch of work in front of us, um, but we've also made an article to help you through this as well to make your life easier. What's happening here is in the Office 365 parameters, um, there's different fields where you need to go get the information from the Azure portal and copy and paste it. I'm not going to go through the fields one by one because our online help does a great job of navigating you through it. I'll just give you an example to see how you should work with it. Um, so the tenant ID, if I go and I look at the knowledge base article on the online help, I can see that it says to copy the director ID for the tenant ID. And I actually have a screenshot here that shows me exactly where to go in the Azure portal to find that information. And then I would just copy it, it into my console. You'll, you can just follow along for each field. Each field is mandatory, so you have to fill each one out. But we're gonna skip ahead to automatic user creation. What this means is that if you turn on the feature, DPS will automatically create the user the first time they log on to DPS with their Office 365 account. So we can turn it on or off with a check and we can also choose to create a read-only user when they log in and we can also set a default repository at the creation if we like. You don't actually have to do this part here if you want, you can also do it through roles. And then the final category here is Office 365 Users, Roles, and Cache. So the cache resolves the users and roles on a regular basis. We can set the interval for cache updates. Um, the cache is an important feature that imports users and roles, which are based, the roles are based on Active Directory groups. Just as an aside, the import function is a great way to start using our role-based security system. Um, now we've gotten to the point where you would test the connection. If everything connects, you've done everything perfectly, good job, um, it's ready to use. Now that we've saved our configuration, let's just look at what the login process looks like for a user. So they navigate to the web login here for Devolutions Password Server and click on the Office 365 login button. And then choose, here I have two users just for the demo, but usually they just see their, their own account, if they use their own computer. And then here put in the, the password. password. 
and sign in. And there we go, we're in. Okay, and the last thing we'll look at is for RDM users. So let me just open RDM. So for people that use Devolution's password server with RDM, there's one thing they need to configure with the data source. Um, so open the data source configuration either through file data sources or you can click on the th ellipsis button, the three little dots here, choose the data source. Hopefully you don't have as many as I do and click edit. And then here we'd switch, we'd uncheck what I'm currently using and check use Office 365 authentication. Um, and then you could enter the username here if you want. And that means that they'll only be prompted for the password. And then you'd click, you can test the connection if you want and then click OK. So that's what each RDM user of Devolution Password Server needs to do um, after you've actually configured Password Server like we showed just before. So those are all the steps you need to follow so that you can start logging in to Devolution's Password Server with a Microsoft Office 365 account. I know I've gone through a lot of information, there's a lot of steps to follow, but you can do it and our knowledge base article is there to help. Links in the description, as I said before. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need any help, don't hesitate to jump into our community or follow us on social media. Thanks a lot.